Hello guys, today we are going to play the insane AI difficulty in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22 as the Gondor faction and this time we are facing on the map Westfold the Mordor faction. Let's get it started. Oh, that's gonna be a tough one. But you know me, I like challenges quite a lot and for that reason I'm quite excited about this one. And you will also be able to see now in this game the insane AI difficulty is something different, especially the Mordor faction guys. Holy moly. <laughs> okay, so I will be spamming Elvin Wood around my fortress if you are wondering why I was using it. Because the AI in this situation will not give us any time. He will attack us right off the bat, 24-7, and we will be in a, in a rough situation. So we need to stall. We cannot get map control. That's not possible. I was already playing against Isengard AI a couple of days ago. Uh, you should check it out if you haven't already. But this time we are on the map Westwald, which is even a bigger map than the map Forts of Eisen, and for that reason, AI will be also able to capture additional settlements and outposts. Ooh, I mean, long story short, you will see with your own eyes what the AI is capable Oh, soldiers of Gondor, don't do that to me. So early on, we need to capture as many settlements as we potentially can, and yes, we won't be able to keep them for a long time, but the amount of time we can keep them around and protect it, we need to fill up our base with a lot of resource buildings, build a marketplace, get some Gondonites on the field, get heroes like Boromir, Faramir, Gandalf, we need definitely the entire strength of the Gondor faction to beat this Mordor. Oh, nice. Actually, beautiful, man. I was able to get a level 2 soldier, but that's huge. That's huge, by the way. Now I can kill those orc archers too. And our money is not looking good, but that's about to be changed. Because the money will start kicking from the outside farms very, very soon. Okay. Everything is looking great. Everything is looking Gucci. But, again, you know, there is no way we can keep those farms outside for more than like 2 minutes protected. But it's fine. These 2 minutes are all it takes. All we need. Defensive positions! A pint would be good right about now. Okay, farms, farms, farms. And the reason why I'm building farms is because I wanna build I wanna get the grand harvest, okay? From the market, please. The grand harvest is not only better in compare to say it to the iron ore because you get 10% additional money, but also it doesn't only affect the farms inside, but also the farms outside of the castle. And also the farms are giving us the food, uh, food bonus, making our Gondonites cost cheaper. So win, win, win situation. The only problem is that our upgrades are going to be extremely expensive, but, you know, without sacrifice, there can be victory. Okay, nice. Very green took get also cloaked. That's very nice. And our soldiers are still remaining on the field. We have the new farm. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I mean, how many minutes are we in the game? Like four minutes? And there is already a siege tower. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to deal with that with that farm. thing? You know? That's unbelievable. And by the way, guys, this AI is not in the patch 2.22. It's like an optional file. You can also download that from our Discord's PFME files channel and just place it in your installation folder. You know, the EA games, the battle for Middle Earth. And make sure to put an underscore in front of the, the name of the file and then just start your game and get your own experience. You know? <laughs> Nothing is scripted. You can make your own experience. This is like a hell, bro. This is like hell. So let's use the second Elven Woods now, if I can. There we go. Come on now, please. Nice. Stand fast, man. Okay, so it doesn't look too shabby. It doesn't look too shabby, by all means. And we can also recruit Faramir, Boromir, Gandalf. Uh, but first of all, let's get the Grand Harvest. That's going to make us grow rich incredibly fast. And that's important in order to get all the mansion heroes recruited quite soon. And we need Gandalf level 10 in this game. Even though against Mordor, Gandalf's level 10 ability, the War of Power, is not very impactful, you know? Oh my goodness. There is a, <laughs> there is a catapult already, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You are killing me. That's what it is. Okay, let's recruit Boromir first. Boromir has the, uh, le you know, level 4 leadership. Level 5, Captain of Gondor. Not Captain of the Gondor, the Horn of Gondor to stun the nearby enemy units. But the most important and most reliable thing in this matchup for us is going to be the, the new level 6 ability, the Glory of Gondor, which will grant us money for killing enemy units. 
So we will need a lot of money in order to get uh, to this rough early mid game and then hopefully shine bright like a diamond in the late game. They have attack. What about my breakfast? Let us prepare for this war. And also Boromir can be used to they kill those siege key weapons, key you know? Key That's key. very important too. But uh, I don't think Boromir can kill the siege tower. <laughs> Dude, that's um, that's so funny, you know. And also, I am actually learning from the AI that those siege towers are very underrated. I was never building them in my entire life playing this many online games in Battle for Middle Earth One. But after seeing how strong and how tanky those things are, I'm actually considering to definitely build them in my next multiplayer match. You know, I think that would be also quite surprising for the opening player because he wouldn't see that coming. Trust me, that one. By the blood of Gondor. Oh my goodness. There is a ram. A ram. A ram. Oh. <laughs> Dude, Boromir, get in there. Boromir, get in there. You know what I'm saying, guys? Please, the brothers of Condor, please, can I use the warning arrow on this thing? Oh, look at that. Look at this DPS. Look at this burst. And he gets more and more cutters. I mean, our Hobbit is actually giving us a great amount of vision control. Not even warning arrow is able to one-shot that thing. But we were extremely lucky. One more hit was all it takes to destroy the gate. And yes, we can repair it. But remember, the repair costs us a lot of time and also 1,000 resources. Which is simply not a good investment at this stage of the game. We cannot afford that. We need to build towers to get enough power points collected from killing those units. And he will, bring a, he will be bringing in more and more catapults very, very soon. And for that reason, we need to unlock also the Rohan Alliance Special Summon from the Spellbook of Gondor very soon in order to be able to kill those siege weapons because look at him he's creeping now at the bottom side he was creeping at the top side and it's a matter of time he has even fire arrows purchased on this orc arches ladies and gentlemen that's busted okay i mean <laughs> dude 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 I'm also pretty again. tempted to just recruit Gandalf first Run you know let's skip everything else let's Come try to, to stall the game until we get 6,000 collected. I see a tree getting knocked down on the ground. I'm expecting that it's going to be a trebuchet. Or not trebuchet, but catapult. I, stand as your <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm fine with cat... Oh, it's siege towers. Those things are so hard to deal with, guys. Watch this. Watch the warning arrow damage against siege tower, please. Dude, <laughs> it's healing it. It's healing it, Jack. Dude, that's, it's healing. We are healing it. Oh, he's also sieging our own catapult trebuchet on top of the wall. And hello, that is my old friend. Okay, guys, so Gothmog was absolutely right. The age of man is indeed over, you know? The age of the orc has come. Look at this. Are we just losing the game, actually? We need we need something. We need something. We need one more power point ASAP. Come on, Boromir. Come on, Faramir. Show your quality. Guys, you see what the AI is doing? He's shooting with fire upgraded orc arches from the wall. How many times in your BFME 1 gaming experience against AI did you see that? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not, you know, overreacting, trust me. Okay, please, nice. Okay, now we gotta call the Rohirrim. Gonda calls for it and Rohan will answer. Master the Rohirrim. Please, I don't want to lose all my level 2 farms, dude. Faramir, Boromir, run for your lives, you fools. Fly, you fools. And there is even a siege... Um, you know, the hammer, uh, the ram, hitting like a truck, by the way, ramming like a truck, in this case, replace all the farms, dude, we are so behind now, I mean, we need to stall until Gandalf, that's the only way, because we committed now, and we, I don't want to change my strategy, I want to just commit until I will be able to recruit finally Gandalf, the white wizard. I will defend my people, do not pause. Stay quiet. Okay, uh, just kill the siege, man. Come on now, Rohirrim. I trust in you. Nice, Rohirrim. Well done. Borom is also level 5. Let's stun them. Do -do -do -do. I mean, that's not Horn of Gondor sound. <laughs> it's more, that sounds more like a Rohirrim special summon. Hey, Farami, man. Farami is getting bullied by the Mordor Catapults. Now, Rohirrim actually, did, you know, they did a phenomenal job. They were actually stalling a lot and killing a lot of siege weapons. Hopefully, that's going to pass the time to eventually recruit either Gandalf or unlock the power points we need to summon the Giant Eagles. The Giant Eagles are going to be also extremely important. Luckily for us, Gondor has a lot of powerful special summons from the spare book, and we, can, we need to rotate with them in order to deal the damage we are looking for. So we need EOD, we need Eagle special summon. That's the only way we can actually 
clean some sort of map control and also keep it after cleaning it, you know? Okay, so Faramir, we, I don't want to even build a well, guys, because I want to, uh, you know, just demolish these two. We need like 500 more. Come on, Gandalf. I, Gandalf, I need you. I need you now. Oh, you see the Hobbit is triggering. Did, do you guys see that? The Hobbit is triggering all these trolls at the same location. I don't even want to know how many trolls are there on the point. I don't want to even know how many trolls. But I will tell you one thing. The second we unlock the Eagle Special Summon, I'm going to summon the Eagles. And we will see or check how many power points we can collect. Because Eagles are dealing splash damage. When they are actually clumped like that, we can kill them all with like two hits. And while we do it, doing this, I want you guys to focus, please do me a favor, and focus on the PowerPoint department, Faramir, man. Okay, Gandalf is on the field. Go, Gandalf. Go. The Grey Pilgrim. I don't want to actually get him wine. I want to uh, summon the Eagles first, you know? <laughs> I, 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 because I want to find out how, many, how much damage we can actually deal, uh, how many power points we can collect after summoning the Eagles and killing all these trolls. Gun of the pleb. That's what they used to call me. And yeah, I was. Oh, guys. Please, 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 please pay attention, okay? First of all, we gotta take care of the castle. Oh, more catapults are coming also. Let's kill this thing as well. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's gonna be hilarious, guys. This is going to hit like a truck. Okay, guys. So, we need to build the siege works and kill those catapults, first of all. We gotta make sure that our base and castle is in a safe spot. That's our priority, you know? And it hopefully it's gonna be worth it to not pick up the Gandalf the White Power Point. Because as you can see, Gandalf the Grey's Power Point, uh, spells are actually having a really long, uh, low cool, not low, long cooldown. They have double the cooldown from the spells when he's Gandalf the White. I will defend my people. Okay, we can finally build a well. We can now buy the Monorian Stoneworker, the gate, everything, you know? Let's use heal to keep the bottom here protected. You see, the abilities, they start charging from, recharging from the beginning. But the second you have kind of divide, they always start at halfway around. So you get 100% cooldown reduction on your abilities. It means, for example, Vora Power is kind of the gray would have 9 minutes cooldown. But with kind of divide, you have only 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, let's kill those things. Dude, the amount of siege weapons spam is kind of nuts. And I believe, even from what I've seen so far, I've not tried many, many games, but I can tell you that winning as evil faction against Mordor seems to be literally impossible. And the same way also goes around when you play Mordor against Isengard. You know, this feels to be impossible, but, you know, hey, you know me, right? Hard is easy, impossible may, some, may take some time. And let me know which one you want to see next, Mordor against Isengard or Isengard against Mordor in the comment section down below. And I will try my best and hope play many, many games in a row until impossible is not impossible anymore. We must act quickly. Even the Numenorean Stonework is actually so expensive, guys. And you have no Blacksmiths. You know, Blacksmiths is also making those things cheaper, if you don't know. Okay, I mean, sooner or later, we need to start claiming map control. We have four power points in the bank. And I'm about to summon the Eagles. I was waiting until they clump more and more and more. Okay, guys, please, please, please. As I'm gonna do this, I want you to pay attention, please. We have four power points, guys. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Boom, 60 power points. Dude, we got 12 power points. Do you see how many trolls are on the ground? Are you out of your mind? How many trolls did he actually clump in there? Pedigree and Took died, but there can't be victory, you know, there can't be victory without a sacrifice. Holy mo- I've never seen this in my life. They got 12 power points on point. Holy quaka moly. What is happening now? Yikes! <laughs> this, this was a hilarious moment. One of the best moments actually happened to me. Oh my goodness, Balrog is coming. Maybe I was too excited. We're gonna use AOT. We're gonna use everything. We need to stop this dude. We need to stop this dude. Gandalf, Gandalf, do your thing. 
Lightning sword him. EOD, what are you doing? Don't sleep on me, EOD. Come on, come on, come on. He's gonna kill Boromir, the captain of Gondor. is no more. We killed him, but Gandalf didn't get the last hit. If he would get the last hit, he would be almost level 10. But unfortunately, with ifs and then, with ifs and thens, we cannot win this game. So we gotta still play. <laughs> Dude. Boromir got burned, you know, he got fired. <laughs> okay, oh my, oh my goodness, man, what the heck? I thought Visa Plus is gonna kill those things, but those catapults are like literal tanks against Gandalf's abilities. Our wall is looking sexy, though, am I right? With the Numenori and Stormark. And I just bought in my bite, you know, in my tongue. Can you imagine that, guys? Because when I'm talking, when I'm excited, I'm actually opening my mouth a lot when I'm, like, big mouth, you know, like, and then as I was closing my mouth, obviously, you need to open and close your mouth all the time, and I was biting into my tongue. Hey, man, Faramir, dude, the straws, you see how many straws? And every one of these straws was getting body blocked by Pippin, the Peregrine Took. So Peregrine Took actually is the only reason why we are not defeated yet, but it doesn't mean that we have won yet. We have not conquered anything from this map so far and we definitely and desperately need some archers and also rangers ASAP oh my goodness boys oh my goodness look at this troll spam and they are level 2 too because in the patch 2.22 if the troll kitch is level 3 every troll and also drummer troll coming out of it by being level 2 the reason is simple they are not getting much stronger but they have actually sustained and recovery when they are level 2 that means if they are low they can heal them up heal themselves up i mean it doesn't really matter too much for the trolls because they can always eat a orc and heal up anyway but it matters actually for the drummer trolls because they have literally no way of sustain oh man goodness man i'm getting a heart attack okay we gotta make stuff happen we need to try to kill the siege works boys the siege spam has to stop look at this do you guys see this do you guys see what i'm seeing look how many catapults from downtown as well we just killed two of them we gotta kill the siege works he has so much he has double siege works inside the castle look at the catapult spam and thank you so much for the follow on the twitch channel spartan version 9 appreciate it really means a lot to me and by the way, guys, thanks to, thanks to Spartan, I can also recommend you to follow me on Twitch, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards, if you are interested in more BFME content. On Twitch, we are covering most of the time BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King, but the second we are done with the current $1,300 tournament for Rise of the Witch King, I'm also planning to host a BFME 1 tournament. So make sure to follow the Twitch channel. It's going to take you not much longer than 5 seconds. And maybe I will get the chance to say hi to you in the next upcoming live stream. Would be really, really appreciating it a lot. Oh, that was close, actually. Yes, darkness too. Okay, I mean, he gets more siege towers, more catapults. The spam is crazy, but also at the same time, it is scary. Double Haradrim palace there. The trolls are diving in, and yeah, we can demolish this now. Um, you, you, the only building you need to keep in your castle after purchasing all the upgrades in order to keep the upgrades actually is the marketplace everything else can be demolished so first for example if you want to buy just fire or upgrade you can demolish your archer range after you purchase it and you can still upgrade your units with fire arrow even though your building is not remaining on the field anymore you know that's one of the differences between bfme 1 and bfme 2 because in bfme 1 you obviously have limited spots and keeping every building around is literally not possible so for that reason you can demolish them if you don't if you don't need them especially armory has to be demolished asap because it's a waste of one of your spots inside your castle i mean i think i hope there would be like a counter in which can tell us how many siege weapons from uh, from rams to catapults to siege towers we have destroyed and taken down in this game now the nazgûls are coming in clutch kill this nazgûl man he cannot screech us that is gandalf and he makes everyone around him brave please kill this catapult gandalf oh shield bubble is activating take this dude <laughs> i mean the thing is we have towers you know with the with the stone worker it means we have laser towers and every tower hit is dealing 125 percent more damage basically we are hitting like an absolute track and taking down even strong creatures like those trolls even under effect of the uh, darkness soon quite fast you know i mean down quite fast not soon quite fast so that doesn't make any sense Our lands are under siege. Look out. 
Prepare yourselves. Fly I mean, the cat, uh, the troll spam is crazy now. And I've, I'm regretting it. Can, guys, can you imagine what would have happened if I would wait a little bit longer with the eagle summon? You know, the initial eagle summon, which killed like 50 trolls at the same time. Imagine if I would not do that until the end of the game. How many trolls would be committed in the one single location? Or I wouldn't summon them and I would just trigger them to follow my Gandalf. Imagine how many trolls would be chasing down my Gandalf. It might even break the game, you know. <laughs> okay, we have 8,000. But the problem is... Uh, Gondorites are going to be a, like a horrible choice in this situation. We might still need... Oh, Badrock. Okay, we gotta use EOT. I mean, even the Badrock summon is so new to this. So can I please kill you? What is my EOT doing? Guys, this EOT is triggering me. Uh, you go, go, go. Easter light him. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. He's gonna kill my gate. But can I kill him? No, my Gandalf still didn't get the last on him. Are you kidding me? And I see a Witch King of Ingmar. Oof, 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 oof. He even, he even killed my towers on top of the wall, you know? The tower expansions. The Witch King shouldn't be able to do much. Look how many towers are going to be able to shoot him down. And the most painful thing, he was able to kill the archer range. That's why, that's why we need to build it in a different place, you know? Because he will eventually keep summoning Balrog on us all the time. And in behind the base or behind the castle, it is definitely protected in a much, much greater way. Formation. Be alert. Go lightly. We must act quickly. Ride! Ride! There they are. What should we do? Gondor's new archery range. Okay, so we have Eagle Summon available, the Rohirrim Summon available, and the Ranger Summon available. And now we need to kind of try to do something. We need to try, you know, to um, see it. To capture the outpost and then move on. That's the plan, right? We need to capture the outpost, protect it for a little bit, and then move on to the other outpost. But first of all, let's try to destroy the siege works. Commit fully with the Rohirrims. Oh my goodness, look at this catapult spam! Stop it! Get some help, AI. You are triggering me. You are legit triggering me. So please, please, please. That's all he has to call the heart. Build me an army worthy of Mordor. Please not. Look at this trolls, dude. What an absolute clown fiesta. Do you see how many trolls? Who let the trolls out? Can I kill this? Please, please. Hey, my Gandalf. Gandalf, don't die. Gandalf, don't die. Oh, not even close, baby. Dude, if Gandalf survives, then you have to like this video. Gandalf. Gandalf is being shot from the tower. Gandalf. Gandalf. Okay, guys. Guys. Okay, a deal is a deal. A deal is a deal. Imagine lumbering workers are killing him. Nazgul, please. Okay, actually, hey, he was showing mercy. Also, this Nazgul wants you to leave a like on this video, guys. Can you imagine? <laughs> Dude, I'm always so lucky when I say, if this happens, make sure to leave a like. It always happens. Now you might say, but you already know that it's not going to happen. No, I don't know. I'm really not sure about that, you know? Look at the spammer of Siege Vortex. Double Siege Vortex on my face. Horrible. Horrible. Horrible behavior. Mordor AI. Oh my goodness, guys. Do you see how many trolls does he have actually on the field still? Does he have like 15,000 troll cages? How is this possible? What is going on? Oh my goodness, man. This is fiesta. This is absolute clown fiesta. Okay, we in the on the bright side we are able to destroy this. Look how strong our gate is. But it's eventually gonna be broken, you know. And now the trolls are charging in. We gotta build more towers, boys. Hopefully the towers are gonna be able to stop them. They are level six for whatever reason. The eye is cheating. It's cheating so hard. How did they get level six? How? 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 Are there like treasure treasure chests on the map? You know, we can you know the AI picks up and gets three levels, just like in the in the mission. Uh, Moria, when you play the good campaign, the very first mission? Apparently there is. Apparently there is. Okay, I mean, they are dying though. And imagine if we wouldn't have those towers, guys. Imagine that for a single second. That would be actually awful. Without the, the reason why we are able to burst them down that fast are not the archers, trust me. This one or two archers, they can't do much. Oh, Witch King. Oh, Witch King. I see you, Witch King. I see you and you are... Die! Oh my goodness. My Gandalf is the unluckiest wizard in the Middle-earth. He is missing the kill on Witch King. 
he misses the kill on Balrog twice, and that's the reason why he's not level 10 yet, you know? <laughs> he would have been level 10 now a long time ago if he wouldn't be that unlucky. Okay, let's demolish the Postan Gate, build another tower. Okay, we are able to keep this for now, that's good. We need to definitely get some more archers. And as our AOD is reloading, we also know that the AI will have also his Balrog available very, very soon. So, for that reason, we need to keep the AOD mainly and most of the time just to counter the enemy Balrog. You know, that's the... We don't need AOD, right? To kill them. We have army now. We have towers. We have great defense. Gondor's, Gondor is famous for that. Gondor is the best defense in the entire game. With the strong gate, walls, and also towers. So we don't need to use AOD to kill those monsters and also those orcs. We don't need that. The sun is rising. Okay. I will defend my people. Now we gotta move on. I mean, there are only three slaughterhouses. I'm pretty tempted to not destroy it, but I have to destroy it in order to weak, uh, work my way up to his main castle. You know? That's the pro Oh my goodness. I didn't even... My goodness. Oh! Please kill him, Gandalf! Gandalf's gonna chunk him. He's chunking him. But this, this Balrog... Yes, please die. Okay, now. Oh, did you see that? He was dying mid-air, boys. He was dying mid-air. Now we can also... Oh, nice. He broke the gate once again, but it's not a big deal. As long... Oh, Boromir, what are you doing? The captain. Don't die on me, Boromir. Okay, the Nazgul has been taken. Now let's summon the Rohirrim here and destroy the outpost. I mean, okay, it's okay. It's, it's whatever. It's Boromir only. He's used to that. He's used to that. You know what I'm saying? It's not a big deal. The enemy has grown stronger. Uh, borrow me, borrow me. I'm sorry, man. But for that reason, uh, I will be able to save you hopefully in the <laughs> in the Amon 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 Hand mission. By the way, guys, if you don't know, we are also working on making the campaign a bit harder. So not a bit harder, just in you know increasing the numbers of the enemy units. No, 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 no. It's gonna be actually quite new scripted, especially those major missions like Helm's Deep, Black Gate, Minas City, those kind of missions. And hopefully, we will be able to release it by the end of april by the beginning of may so we in round about six weeks from now so if you are planning to play the campaign of pfme one i would highly recommend you guys to wait with it don't play it yet and wait for the update trust me you will not regret it it's gonna be a full different experience much more challenging slash also much more fun back to the darkness I mean, he keeps spamming trolls on us. That means we also need to take care of the top side. So, Westwall is a huge map. And that means he has so many settlements. He can crush out uh, us from every single side. But it's okay, you know. We need to focus on one of the sides at the same time. So, we cannot go... And we don't have that, that much army. And even if we would have uh, that much army, it would be just too risky. You know what I'm saying? So, now we have the second outpost. That's great. That's Gucci. Now, we can place those... Um, see rangers inside the citadel of the outpost oh uh, <laughs> i'm gonna summon the oh my goodness i missed the second one please don't kill him please don't kill him please don't kill him okay 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 i mean i see too many i see too many trolls now the eagles the eagles are coming oh but they are one touching one shotting this thing farami don't die farami don't die I just lost your brother 30 seconds ago. Please don't die on me, okay? He destroyed the outpost, but it's okay. We can just reclaim it. Money is not a really big problem. I mean, it's not like we have a lot of money, but we have more than we actually need. We just need to buy the outpost and keep it for like a couple of minutes until we can rotate with the power points once again. So basically, if you want to be able to beat this AI in this insane difficulty, you need to rotate with your power points. So you need to rotate with the Rohirrim summon, and now you need to make great... Uh, decisions you know you need to summon i would recommend you to summon the rohirrim just to kill the most annoying production buildings from the enemy ai in my case it's definitely the siege works so that's my priority and then summon, summon the eagles if you need to to kill trolls and nazgus and summon the aod most of the time to just kill the enemy balrog that's all you have to do over and over again until you are finally able to push him back men of gondor so as you can see and tell, the playstyle from Gondor is way different than the playstyle from Rohan, you know? 
So we were playing Rohan against Isengard. In there you have like a mobile army. You are much, much quicker. But Gondor, you don't have really arches on, on horses. For that reason, you are not that fast. So you need to rotate slowly. You know, push slowly, secure your place, and push again, secure your place, and push again. We mustn't let them close. Great. More trolls are coming, but we can keep killing them. And I'm also pretty tempted to actually use EOD offensive the next time. You know, I, I feel like even if you can deal a lot of damage to the castle, I don't think you can destroy the entire castle with Balrog. Maybe we should be just getting um, the EOD offensively. We have to throw him summon and hopefully we will be able to destroy the entire castle. That should be our plan. Boromir is level 8. Look how strong our rangers are. They have triple leadership now. I mean, Farami, Boromir and Gandalf. And even the statue behind. Oh, Drummer Troll, I see. Okay. Look, Drummer Troll is kicking. <laughs> He's kicking the statue, you know? Okay, we get more rangers now. That's great. We have level 9 Faramir. Faramir, my friend. You have shown your quality this game. Just like once again. Nice. Yo, this almost back up. You already know what that means, right? We know that, uh, <laughs> that this is like a signal, you know, for the for the demon of the ancient world in about a few seconds. Rangers, loosen up the lines. Oh my goodness, man! I don't want him to actually kill my rangers too, but I need to be prepared with Gandalf, so I need to try to kill him. That's my goal. And I believe those rangers with Farami and Boromir, they can hold themselves around this side. I don't think they need the help from Gandalf, you know? So my Gandalf should be just used to kill the enemy Balrog. And there comes the Balrog. So let's summon this. Oh my goodness, the Lumberman will work. Okay, never mind. <laughs> the Lumberman will work was, in, was about to get in the way. Oh, we, maybe we didn't even need to use EOD here, to be honest with you. But kill him, Gandalf, so you get level 10. Nice, Gandalf, finally. Can you imagine, guys? Faramir got level 10 before Gandalf, you know? <laughs> so Faramir showed more quality this game than the White Wizard, the best hero in the game. Who is the best hero now, Gandalf? Okay, dope. Dope, 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 dope. We need definitely Banner because, you know, they are still level 1. You have so much money, but we forgot about Banner. When you go for ranges, you don't need, really need to buy heavy armor because you, they cannot even capture or, you know, um, say purchase the heavy armor upgrade. That's not possible. Okay, so let's go now. Let's go now. Now we gotta make a move. Let's go now. If the water power too from Gandalf. Oh my goodness, man. I mean, water power is kind of pointless against trolls, I guess. Um, we can heal for the worst case scenario. Or give them banner and fire. Okay, that's good. Money is no problem. If also a statue behind that also will buff those or uh, not orcs, obviously those ranges on top of the wall. You can summon also more rangers. Boromir! Don't die. I will not lose you a second time, Boromir. I mean, not the third time, because he got one time burned out from, from Balrog, remember? Look how many trolls he has, man. This guy's annoying me. Stop it. Okay. Captain of Gondor twice. By the way, guys, um, just because I was just recently using the Captain of Gondor on my army, is Gondor has like two abilities. They are both called the same Captain of Gondor from Boromir and Faramir. When they are level 7, they can level up those units. And Gondor is a faction that really lacks in the damage department. I was actually thinking about replacing the Horn of, not Horn of Gondor, the Captain of Gondor ability from Boromir with something called uh, like for Gondor, which is going to be something for infantry similar to the Glorious Charge of Turin. So he's gonna scream for Gondor, for Gondor, and infantry of Gondor will deal like 50% more damage and 50% more armor for like 20 seconds. What do you guys think about that? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Because for this kind of stuff, we actually make polls and also voting. And if the majority says no, 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 we won't do it. So for that reason, your opinion is actually very important. So let me know oh, the witch king. Never mind, the dead king. That's what it is. Hey, Boromir, this Boromir is literally trying to break my promise. You know, I said, Boromir, you won't die one more time. And he's like, are you sure about that? He's running it down just to prove me wrong. Okay, I mean, we are taking care of this slowly but surely. But call the horde. The production speed of orcs is crazy. They are coming instantly on the field. Nostacress. On your face, son. The word of power. 
So we are taking care also of both the top side of the map with a bunch of ranges. We can also, I mean, at this point, we can also recruit uh, Gunner Knights. Let's use the P, the shield bubble. The shield bubble is manually activatable. Now in the patch 2.22, it was actually automatically activated in the previous patches, only in some cir um, certain circumstances. Mainly against Mordor when the trolls were about to hit you, or when the Balrog was about to whip you, then Gandalf would automatically cast the shield bubble to reduce the incoming damage. But this was kind of useless against factions like Gondor or Rohan. You couldn't use it, right? Now you can press P on your keyboard as for protection, the shortcut, and then you can activate the shield bubble and you are good to go. Okay, guys, so we, I believe we are in a good spot. So we are actually having three out of four outpost control. His base is being sieged as we are talking. And yeah, oh my goodness, man. This was a tough one, boys. You see, it's about surviving the very first 10 to 12 minutes into the game, in which the waves are coming endlessly. And I believe, and I think you won't disagree with me, that the win condition in this game from us was actually the Peregrine took the full of a took. The way that he body blocked, for whatever reason, all these trolls and locked them in one single spot. Maybe he was invisible, they wanted to kill him, but they couldn't target him. It was kind of triggering and... Let's be real, also, also bugging out the AI a little bit, which was actually coming in quite handy for me. Because imagine if those trolls would, would charge me down. We got 12 power points. So I'm assuming it was more than 30 trolls in total. 30 trolls, guys. 30 trolls. Got one-shotted from two eagles as they were in the same location. They were clumped into one army. It was actually, <laughs> they were so funny. I've never seen this before, man. I've never seen this before. And that's why I like BFME. I love BFME so much. Because even after this many years, it is still able to teach me lots of stuff. And it still is able to impress me, to surprise me every single time. And as the last building is falling, we are victorious, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a truck. And also, stay beyond standards. Peace out.